Okay, uh, we are back. We're going to make a small, um, well, I went off camera. I hit it in another coat of um, Future uh, Floor Wax after I did the um, removal of the paint with the um, chipping fluid. And so that's to protect that. So any more fluid or anything is uh, protected by that acrylic uh, coating. What now I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to do a wash to bring out some of the more of the detail. And this is uh, what people call white spirit, or this is odorless terpenoid. Um, these are uh, one ounce bottles you can buy it off of eBay or Amazon. Uh, it makes so much life so much easier mixing things, and you're not dealing with giant bottles of, uh, of fluid. And we want to get this kind of lighter. We don't need it really hardcore. We'll do another little uh, plate to clean, clean our uh, uh, brushes with. And I'm just using a really crappy brush to mix this and get it nice and broken up. And you can see this is a very light wash and there's still a lot of pigment uh, still clinging together. I don't think this is too saturated. We'll leave it at that and we'll leave this dirty because I don't want to get that clean uh, fluid dirty yet. I'm going to start cleaning my brush. Okay, so I'll let that go. And I'm using like a semi-decent brush. These are a couple bucks at your local craft store. I forgot this is a Princeton. Uh, the synthetic is very important. Um, this is a liner brush. I don't know if I had really needed this one, but it'll work. And just kind of run it along your bolts. This is uh, capillary action where it kind of looks like it knows where to, where to run. And I don't want to get so much into those details and the grooves from the uh, um, the print. I want to try to get it into these corners to get uh, depth in the shadows. There we go, see that? We get around these uh, uh, vision visors or whatever these are. Kind of see, just kind of let it do its thing. And I make sure it's nice and light so it does. And then we can come back later and uh, clean it up a little bit too. I do recommend uh, checking out my. Uh, the video thing I did. This is under $40, this little video tripod thing I made with a like a GoPro uh, a holder on a boom microphone stand. And then I just got a piece of, God, it was like a couple bucks, some threaded PVC with some caps. And look at uh, Richter Scale Studios blog. Uh, it's one of my only uh, blogs I put up. I'm just kind of trying to get that going too. There's a lot of uh, work keeping up our hobby uh, social media stuff. It's a hobby in itself. And I'm just going to finish this off. You obviously get any idea what I'm doing. Um, on this side, I think we'll get some there. There. Maybe some more right there. There we go. Yeah, it's okay to you know go back over it because we can remove this really easily with uh, some clean uh, white spirit and a um, a makeup applicator. I don't recommend Q-tips. Those get really messy and uh, the cotton strings off. And this comes off your hands really easily too, so it's no big deal. I really want to get these things detailed out. There we go. Let's keep floating it on and we can wipe it off. Well, I'm going to be back in a second and I'll show you what it looks like after I... We're back real quick. Uh, let's get this all in frame. I can see this got it. Um, you can see all the, like the little black line and soaking around that. I'm gonna let it sit for a while. I can take like if I want to clean these edges off on top. I got that. See that's pulling up some of the paint already and uh, like maybe these front of these edges. Cause I want this and we'll probably go in and do line highlighting later too. So you just want the upper edges that uh, aren't affected, then like this to clean the top of these. See that, that like the Q-tip is the bad thing to use. 
And the good thing to use is one of these. Wing around. These are reasonably inexpensive. You can probably get these at your local pharmacy or Walmart or um, it's a sponge. And this and it's got a nice uh, texture to it. And it can really just you know lightly go in there and then you see you pull up that paint where you don't want it. So you can leave it on you want the top of the bolts clean and the edges not. And you can see some of the uh, brightness is coming back and you can go between the bolts. There. Got some detail back. Or not detail, but cleaning it up. It looks a little cleaner, but it's got the, the darkness in these recesses and grooves. And then you can see the rust coming through. Actually, could have done some more. I mean, this is like you know, realistic rust, but maybe a little more orange next time to make it pop a little bit more. But that does look pretty good. Um, so um, I'm going to let this dry, come back and varnish it with a probably a satin, or no, probably this, we'll do a, um, a dull coat on it. And I do one little thing. I want to do maybe some blood splatters on it just to give it a little bit of uh, pop, and then uh, we'll call it done. And possibly some little bit of line highlighting just to pick some areas that want to uh, lighten up a little bit. And uh, as usual, thank you for joining me. And we'll see you in the next one. I am back real quick. I'm just grabbing some uh, model color duck tan. I got this liner brush. And yeah, see why right there. And just watch how this makes this pop. It's a, it's a light, like a creamy color. And you can see I did it on this other window already. But look at this. And just taking this little edge. There you go, just a little bit of sunlight on there or whatever it's hitting it. And that just makes it just stand out amazingly. You don't have to do it the whole way either. Just, just a little bit just to show hints of the detail. And like on these pillars or supports, I got the top edges done. Then you can just go along the sides. I made a mistake there, but oh well. I do this all on camera. This is so nice, this new camera. Man, we can, uh... Man, the paint's a little too thin. I don't know. I don't even have it on a wet palette. Make sure it's... Let's hit these uh, bolts a little bit. Get a little sloppy. Oh. Oops. We can go in there and fix that later. out a little bit. We got too much. There we go. Sorry if the camera works bad. Kind of just getting used to this new uh, angle. I'll be able to get in there a little bit heavier. Or not heavier, but uh, closer. And oh yeah, here we go. This is what we're really going to make this pop because this back area has not a lot of detail on it at all. So we'll go in and hit those. At the inside corners. We don't have to do the tops because that's there's no light hitting that. Then we have these edges. A 
oops, bad me, not taking my time. That's why I noticed a lot of the uh, skill is just basically being patient. So you want to get stuff done and we get it on the table or get to the next project right away. And that causes problems sometimes. A couple more of these bolts over here. I'm really kind of being stupid about it right now. Uh, there we go. There. Um, so I'll let that dry and then we'll varnish it. Then uh, I think we'll be done with this thing. It's got a lot of detail to it. So uh, thank you for joining me. We'll finish up in the next section and that'll be the end of this. Thanks again.